This is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting for Room Now. I'm at ULAR 2021, and I just found this really fascinating poster. It's poster number oral presentation OP0133. And what this poster did, it was a Kaiser Permanente cohort study, and they were evaluating the prevalence of hydroxychloroquine retinopathy in long-term hydroxychloroquine users. And what they did was a retrospective study of 676 patients who've been on hydroxychloroquine for more than five years. They found that about 6.8% of patients had confirmed hydroxychloroquine retinopathy. Now that's a little bit high prevalence there, um, uh, particularly in anywhere between five and you know, 10 years of use. Anyways, about 159 of them had an abnormal OCT. So the risk that they found associated with retinopathy is older age. And in fact, an age of greater than 80 years old conferred an odds ratio of retinopathy of 3.83, confidence interval 1.31 to 11.21. They also found, surprisingly to me, is that if a patient has a history of atherosclerosis, their odds for developing hydroxychloroquine retinopathy also increase, odds ratio of 2.99 with a confidence interval of 1.39 to 6.43. Now, cumulative dose greater than 2,000 has a very significant um, association with retinopathy with an odds ratio of 15.8. And this confidence interval spans actually between 3.24 to 76.9. The longer period of use, like 10 to 15 years of use, the odds ratio is also significant at 4.44, and the confidence interval is 1.71 to 11.55. And then if the patient's been on it for more than 15 years, the odds ratio is probably one of the highest I've seen, which is 19.33, uh, um, with a confidence interval of 5.46 to 68.41. So this begs the question, the study begs the question, what if you've had a patient with lupus who'd been on hydroxychloroquine for 15 or 20 years and it's been controlling their disease, they're stable, what would you do? Would you stop the dose, the medication? Would you lower the dose? Would you um, perhaps even just switch them to a, a drug of different mechanism of action? I mean, hydroxychloroquine is one of the lifesavers for lupus. I mean, it's been shown to reduce mortality. It's been shown to reduce lupus flares, help with lupus nephritis, uh, improve glucose tolerance, decrease the risk of miscarriages and thrombosis. So it, it is a very good drug. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I know that Dr. Michelle Petrie checks whole blood hydroxychloroquine, but in my opinion, I might, as the patients get older, lower the dose. So this is Dr. Catherine Dow reporting. Follow me on Twitter at KDow2011.